Hello, this is Ginger Dunham of Greenhouse Preschool, reading The Busy Body Book, A Kid's Guide to Fitness by Lizzie Rockwell. This is a fantastic, well-illustrated explanation of so many of the body's different systems. Great, developmentally appropriate for preschool and kindergarten. The Busy Body Book. Busy bodies bounce up and down. They stretch from side to side and run all around. They catch and throw, they push and pull, they pedal, they paddle, they roller skate too. When you get busy, what do you do? Your body is meant to be busy. It's meant to move fast, lift heavy things, and walk or run for miles. Just look at it. You have hands for clapping, feet for stamping, legs for leaping and arms for swinging. You can jump, sprint, twist, and twirl. You can do all that because your body is built to move. Underneath your skin is a strong, hard skeleton made of bones. Bones keep your body standing tall. Joints connect your bones so you can bend. The skeleton. You are made up of 206 bones. I encourage all parents and teachers to get this book at the library to read all the details. Muscles are attached to your bones by tendons. Muscles let you move and lift and stretch. When you use your muscles again and again, they don't get worn out. Instead, they get stronger. Inside your skull sits your incredible brain. Your brain controls every move you make and thinks your thoughts. It gets information about the world from your five senses. Seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Then those five senses go up through the nerves to your brain which tells your muscles what to do and how to move. Messages travel back and forth along your nerves into your spinal cord, into your brain, and back out to tell your body what to do with lightning speed along wire-thin fibers, all those nerves. Your body is an amazing living machine and it only needs a few things to make it go, like air to breathe and food to eat and water to drink. These things come into your body through your mouth or nose, but then where do they go and what do they do next? When you breathe, your lungs collect oxygen from the air. Oxygen is a chemical that helps your muscles move. Your brain also needs oxygen so it can think. When you breathe in, you get fresh air. And when you breathe out, you get rid of stale air. Your heart moves oxygen from your lungs to the other parts of your body in your blood. Your heart pumps the blood through long, thin tubes called vessels. Your blood picks up the little chemical of oxygen in the lungs and carries it out to your muscles and to your brain. When your body has used up that oxygen, it goes back to your heart and lungs to refill with your new fresh breath and then is pumped out again. As blood travels through your body, it is also picking up food and water from the intestines. Those are right below your stomach. Your blood delivers the food and water to where it is needed all over your body. Food gives your body chemical energy. Your muscles use energy to move. Your heart uses energy to pump. And your brain uses energy to think. Food also supplies the materials that build your bones and muscles and every other part of your body. All living things need water to survive. There is water in your muscles and around your brain, and water is the main ingredient in your spit, your sweat, your urine, and your blood. 
Because your body is mostly water, oh, because your blood is mostly water, it can easily flow in and out of your heart and through your vessels. The path it travels through your body is called the bloodstream. When your body works hard, it gets hot and sweaty. Sweat is water that seeps through your skin to cool you off. The busier a body is, the more water it needs to refill. A busy body works hard. After a while, it needs to rest. Rest lets your body heal and grow and get ready for another day. A body that gets busy each day stays strong, healthy, and happy. There are lots of ways to be a busy body. Which are your favorite ways? Talk about that with a parent or a loved one or a friend. Thank you for watching The Busy Body Book.